At this point, I'd like to welcome His Grace, Archbishop Dr. Timothy Ndambuki, uh, to lead us in a prayer for our families. Archbishop Ndambuki is the chair of NCCK. Honorable Chief Justice, all protocols observed. Before I pray, I want to make an observation. And I want to observe that uh, this is a great day for Kenya. This is a great day for judiciary. When I look at these people seated before me, a large army, a large army committed to pursue justice for this nation, to advocate for justice, and to practice justice. It is a great gift from God, and I want to thank you and your team for this good work where you have brought all religions together to come and celebrate what God is doing in judiciary. I want to assure you, in the name of God, that if you pursue this line, that vision, that big dream, with this big team, who are men and women who fear God, Kenya will be transformed. And this is a genesis for revolution in our country. A revolution that can turn around all evil in our society. It has been long. We have been praying. Asking God to make intervention. But now, here is an opportunity. When the opportunity is realized through your leadership and uh, the, uh, and the participation of these great men and the women of God. I just see them. And that's the light. And also the, 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 the Quran. The Quran has, has just said it clearly. I was listening, even if I, I, I did not understand well. But they talked about the light shining on a narrow bridge. I mentioned a narrow bridge which was open, which is dangerous to walk on. But they said, let the light of God shine. And then you and these people are seeing through that vision. And you are going to enable the nation to, to move across the other side. Matthew 23, uh, 23. I just want to read what you have done today. And then I pray for the families. 23, 23, Matthew says, and this is Jesus himself, Woe to you, teachers of the law and the Pharisees, you hypocrites, you build tombs for the prophets and the decorate the graves of the righteous, and you say, if we would not have taken, have I written, sorry, sorry, 23, Woe to you, teachers of the law and the Pharisees. Woe. That one you have said, no. No. You hypocrites, you are saying, no hypocrisy in the judiciary anymore. Because, like the Pharisees, they thought that giving was so important than executing justice, Exercising mercy and faithfulness. And that is why Jesus here tells them, you have neglected the more important matter of the law. The more important matter of the law is justice. And as you sit on that bridge, you think about mercy for the nation, mercy for the vulnerable, and Righteous and faithfulness. You will remain faithful to God and you will give a gift, a gift of favor from God above. 
Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we stand here before you, humbling ourselves as a gesture of hope and a trust in you only, so that you may bless the whole judicial family fraternity that has brought us together here this, uh, this day to come and celebrate their achievements for one year as a family. And at the same time, repent of their sins that they have realized, and especially on the site of the law, where they have accepted that they neglected justice, mercy, and the faithfulness. And through repentance, they are saying, Oh God, forgive us and restore our spirit to the right path. And that is what we are asking today, Lord, to continue blessing this family, this judicial family, because it will be a blessing to this nation and a blessing to Africa and a blessing to the world because they will set a model that would be emulated by other nations to remunerate humankind from suffering because of injustice. Hong God, our Father, we pray for their families because behind any successful woman or man, there must be a successful family that stands with them, that prays with them, that observes to learn from them, embrace it, and move forward also to bear fruit because they are children of the light. Our Father and our God, we call upon your name to bless their families, to give favor to each family and to the extended family of our nation, Kenya, so that together we can celebrate as one people. Whenever they need you, God, provide their children. Because out of corruption, people may think that they are doing themselves good, but they are doing themselves war, like Jesus wants the Pharisees be out of their hypocrisy and what they do. Our Father and our God, we pray because you provide. Let them not cherish corruption, but be against it every time, every moment, and stand in your name. And in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, they will be more than conquerors. Hallelujah. We praise you, O oh Lord. We want to pray for their family's good health because there is no other gift that you can provide or give to a family than good health. We pray consoling those who have been bereaved because we have heard that uh, many have lost their friends, their relatives, their families, their wives and husbands, and they have children who are so vulnerable to all manner of evil in this society because they are bereaved. We know injustices that are also done against the orphans because robbers are there to, uh, to, to take away what belongs to them, their inheritance. And here is a judicial system that you have set also to set other families free. Even their children are vulnerable when they are left. Home God of mercy, help those children and console them. Bless them with every manner from heaven to ensure that they prosper. We thank you, Lord, and any other kind of a blessing that you feel is deemed for those vulnerable families. Oh, Lord, God of mercy, have mercy upon them. In Jesus' name.
we pray. Amen. Amen.